What was really ironic and, and now looking back is quite funny is that our graduation speaker in 2004 was Christian Amanpour. And lo and behold, seven years later, I was standing on a balcony with her in Egypt covering the Egyptian revolution. Never did I think our paths would intersect. I'm Alex Marquardt. I'm a senior national correspondent for CNN, and I graduated from the SFS in 2004. I've been back in the States for about two years now with CNN, but before that I was overseas with ABC News as a foreign correspondent for eight years, first in Russia and then in the Middle East for a long time, and it was just the most extraordinary experience. I was right in the middle of some of the most historic events of this century so far, whether it was the uh, revolution in Egypt, the uprising in Libya, the war in Syria. So I felt immensely privileged um, to not only be able to witness those events, but then be able to convey um, the, the magnitude of those events back to an American audience. And frankly, I never really thought I'd come back to the States. I was really having fun as a foreign correspondent. And then President Trump got elected. And we as journalists recognized that America suddenly became the biggest story in the world. So I and many others came back to the States and again, um, very proud and, and, and privileged to feel like I am getting to witness this, what is really a unique moment in American history. It's obviously a very difficult period for journalism, but it's a really invigorating and exciting period for journalism, and I wouldn't change anything about uh, the way my, my career has unfolded. One of the most impactful things that happened to me on campus was joining GUTV, so the campus TV station, which was not something that I had intended to do. It was not something that I um, had really thought about doing, and, and I did it, and I was suddenly, unexpectedly, um, in this world that I really found myself enjoying. And it really put me on this path to what I'm doing today. There's no doubting the impact of the SFS when you travel around the world, whether it's a, as a journalist or, or the, the people that you come into contact with. Um, when I was overseas, I dealt with U.S. diplomats on a daily basis. So many of them had come from uh, the School of Foreign Service. So many of our ambassadors have come from the School of Foreign Service. When I was serving in Beirut, David Hale, the ambassador, was from the School of Foreign Service. When you travel around the world, you immediately see the reach of the school, the network of the school, and if you're lucky enough to come across someone who's also been there as well, it's an immediate uh, bond with that person. When I graduated from the SFS, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know that I would end up in journalism. That wasn't something that I figured out until about a year later. Um, what I did know is that I was interested in the world. What I did know is that I wanted to do something that was global and impactful. When I did figure out that I wanted to be not just a, a journalist, but a foreign correspondent, it had given me uh, the, the basis uh, and understanding of the world and really those elements needed to go out and dissect uh, issues and, and understand different cultures and be comfortable with the job of figuring out what's going on in a place, figuring out what's going on in a story, understanding people, and trying to communicate that back to my audience. 